Hey Doug from Convology here and I'm back with another video showing you how to create a simple sales funnel for Thrive Apprentice. This time we're going to look at how to create a simple form processor form like you see here. This is the same landing page I used in my previous video that we used Thrivecart and SendFox and Wishlist Member and an, a fantastic tech stack. But let's say your budget's a little tighter and you want to take this a more simplistic route and you want to protect your Thrive Apprentice courses and make it so that only people who pay and are logged in can access them. I'm going to show you how to use this simple form processor to charge a custom price using Stripe or PayPal to give people access to your courses for a really inexpensive price. So the plugin we're going to use today is called WP Fluent Forms. In the last six months this has become my favorite form processor. I use it for all of my clients, I actually own the unlimited lifetime site license. Uh, you have the ability to uh, get a single site license or a five site license or the unlimited license right now for a lifetime deal. I don't know how long this is going to last. Um, however, if uh, you go to the link in the description or convology.com forward slash fluent forms, you'll be sent right to this page. Uh, essentially, it's a fantastic deal. They also have annual licenses available. Uh, but let's take a look at how we can use Fluent Forms to create a very simplistic sales funnel for Thrive Apprentice. So right here on my website, I first just want to show you real quick the Thrive Apprentice dashboard. Uh, in my previous video, we created this course, the, the demo course here, and we created some access restrictions. We created the access restriction for wishlist member that walked through a very, uh, not, not very complex, but compared to what we're doing now, a, a robust, just thinks a better word, a robust sales funnel that integrated them with a membership platform and an email marketing service and what have you. But now we're going to change that up and we're just going to make it so that anyone who is a subscriber and logged in will have access to this course. So let's take a look at how we do that. So after you've purchased Fluent Forms, get it installed, Fluent Forms Pro, we want to add a new form and you can use a pre-done form here. They have tons of templates. Let's just do a complete blank form here. Let's add some name fields, maybe an email field as well. And I think that'll be good. But we also want to add an advanced field, a password field, so that the person can enter in a password that they'll use to log into our site. And you can customize these. You can customize the placeholders and the labels and things like that. Um, but keeping it super simple here on, on my channel like I normally do, just showing you how to get up and running quickly. Um, but that's that's really all we need to give them an account on our website and to kind of uh, facilitate the access to Thrive Apprentice. But now we need to add in the payment fields. The payment fields right here, let's add that in. Click on it and add a price. This is the price we want to charge for our course. Let's say we're charging one time fee of 150, keeping it like my previous video. And now we need to come back to input fields and we need to add the payment method field. Now, even if you only are including Stripe, like you can include PayPal and other things, but let's say you only have Stripe, right? That's my preferred method. You still have to add this so that the form knows. It'll just be invisible if they don't have an option. Let's also change our button. Uh, let's change this to, um, I want the demo course now. And let's up here in the upper left, rename our form to demo course check out v2 it's just for my own organization and uh, that looks pretty good um, let's hit save form and now let's preview and design so this is what the form will look like using just very very simplistic styling we have the ability to come in here and change it to different base default styles but we also have the ability to do custom or advanced styling but let's leave it as default for now and let's see what happens when we fill out the information here. So I'm going to put in like Doug test three, just for my ability to track it. Let's make my name test tester, password, something just gibberish and click. I want the demo course. Now what's going to happen is it's going to bring up a Stripe checkout, right? This is the checkout.stripe.com. It's actually because I'm logged in, it's pulling my, my demo site's email address. However, this would have automatically been populated with the email address that I entered. And I'll show you that in just a second. 
um, but they can enter in their credit card info, their name on the card, and their zip, and their country, and they can hit pay. And this form will automatically redirect them to your Thrive Apprentice course. Let's look at some of the background settings to make that happen. So let's jump back here and close out of our current form. We need to do a couple of things. We need to, up at the top, under all forms, go to settings. And we need to go to payment settings. And we need to enable the payment module. This is part of what you're purchasing with Fluent Forms Pro. Enable the payment module. You can enter a business name and address if you want. I didn't, I just left those blank because I'm using Stripe. Then you need to go under Stripe settings and enter in your test publishable key and your test secret key. That's if you're using test mode or if you're using live mode, you want to enter in your live keys. Then if you're going to be doing any sort of subscriptions, you need to enter in uh, the Stripe webhook. I'm not going to bother with that right now because I'm just doing a one-time payment for my course. If you were doing PayPal settings, you would want to enter all those in as well here. And then we're not going to bother with test payment settings. Now I want to go to specific forms. So my demo course checkout V2, that's the one we just created. Go to settings. On the left hand side, payment settings. Products and services, yep, US dollars, everything looks good there. Let's go to on the left hand side here under marketing and CRM integrations. Click on that. This is where we're going to add in the ability for the person to be added as a user on our website. So we want to click add new integration and use or user registration integration. Click on that. Give it a name. This doesn't matter. We can just call it user registration. Now we need to populate these fields. So we need to choose the click on the field. And basically what happens is it'll bring up the fields of the form that are that they're filling out. So for the email, obviously it's the email for the first name, click the drop down arrow and click first name for the last name, drop down arrow, last name for the password. We want to choose the password that they created and we need to choose the role. Now you could get fancy and you can get a user role editor and create custom roles for each course. Let's say you had multiple courses. That's probably the way to go. If you wanted to restrict access to certain forms or to certain courses, rather, you would say, okay, I have a, you know, each of, each of my user roles is named after a course and they get access to that user role. Um, but I think since this way is not a robust way of doing it, like if they were using wishlist member, I would keep it simple and say, this is a method where you want to charge somebody access to see all of your courses, right? Maybe this is customer. Um, and after that, you just need to check the box to enable this field. And then you do have the ability to auto log them in. I think that's actually a good option. Let's go ahead and check that box because we want them to auto log in and then default. Let's not send them the default. Let's just not do that right now. You could technically get a plugin that edits the default emails from WordPress. Um, again, that's getting pretty fancy. And if you start to enter the realm of wanting to be this fancy, I would say go the realm of wishlist member and something, you know, elevating your checkout process a little bit. Um, but we're doing this with just a form processor. So let's log them in automatically and click create user registration feed. There we go. So we just want to make sure that this is now enabled. And let's go ahead and give this a test. So let's go to our demo landing page where we entered in our information. And I'm actually gonna open this up in an incognito window. Here we go, this is the one that we just really quickly built in one minute on our previous video. But let's enter in our information here. So I'm gonna enter in my name as tester, testerly, and my email will be kavology.com. So Doug at test, plus testerly at kavology.com. And I'm just gonna enter in some gibberish password because it doesn't matter. And I'm going to click, I want the demo course. Now a couple of things here. Doug plus testerly at Convology. Notice it pulled that email automatically. We need to check out using the Stripe, uh, um, let's see, test card info. So I'm just gonna get that really quick. So our card test data, just need to pick a date in the future with any CVC, enter in a name and a zip and click pay. Oh, there we go. It automatically sent me to my demo course and it automatically logged me in. Now, in order to do this redirect, I just need to show you one more setting here. If we go to all forms and we edit our settings on our form, we want to go to 
couple of things. If we wanted to go here where it said confirmation type, we could have said, I want this to be the same page. And what would have happened was when we paid, it would have said whatever this message is, you know, thank you for your payment or here's how you log in. But in order to do the redirect like I just showed you, we want to send them to a specific page or to a custom URL. In the example I just showed you, we sent them to, uh, where is it at, courses. That's like the Thrive Apprentice uh, default course page. Um, if we wanted to do to a custom URL or to a specific page, simply click on that and type in the URL that you want people to go to, and you can send people directly to a specific course or to a specific lesson, or maybe to like a thank you landing page. All those options are available. And that's it. That's how you create a simplistic Thrive Apprentice sales funnel using nothing but a form processor, Fluent Forms Pro. Uh, again, very affordable for a lifetime license uh, or an annual license if you prefer to pay that way. And that'll give you really all the basic tools that you need to charge somebody access to your Thrive Apprentice courses and create them as a basic WordPress user on your site where they can log in and get access to the course. If you have any questions about this uh, implementation or integration, feel free to leave a comment in this video or on convology.com. I'll be happy to help you out. Again, I'm Doug at Convology. Thanks for watching.